Okay, question two from the June 2007 paper. Let's call it up. So two particles A and B. Let's get a diagram for this first of all. They're gonna, it's going to be a collisions problem, so let's get a nice diagram that's going on. So that's... A and particle B and what happens before A is travelling this direction with A and B is travelling this direction with Four in a collision, the most the particle of each is reversed, so A spins backwards and then ends up traveling this way, B ends up traveling backwards this way. And um, this A is 0.3 kilograms, B is M, and the speed afterwards is 2. So you see how I've got a nice clear diagram that shows me the before up here and afterwards underneath and it makes it really easy to, to solve problems when we get all the information down like that. So the first thing to solve A, we know the magnitude of the impulse exerted by B on A. So we want the impulse of A. Um, we could find the impulse of B but this has got an unknown in it because the impulse is going to be um, equal and opposite, so it's going to be equal in magnitude but uh, plus or minus of the other one. So if we know the impulse of A, we know the impulse of B, it's just going to be the, the opposite sign. But let's find the impulse of A, so impulse of A is the momentum, the final momentum in V, subtract the initial momentum. And then just at this point I'm going to just stress that I'm going to be taking the direction as right positive. Now this is also a very important point to add to a diagram, it helps you keep everything in perspective. It would be nice if this was all blue as well. So the mass is 0.3, the final velocity is minus 2 because it's acting in the left hand direction so it's negative um, and the mass is 0.3 again initial was A. So we get minus 0.6 minus 2.4 which is equal to minus 3 newton seconds and there are our units for impulse. Now the magnitude of this therefore the magnitude of the impulse is just the size of it, forgetting the uh, sign is just 3 newton seconds. So that's for the A has an impulse of 3 newton seconds, magnitude of 3 newton seconds, and B also has an impulse of magnitude 3 newton seconds, just acting in the opposite direction. If we jump down to part B now, we want to find the value of M. So in this case, we're going to use what I'm going to write as P, C, M. It's important you write this down. This stands for the principle of the conservation of momentum. Now this means the total momentum before impact is equal to the total momentum after impact for the whole system. Not looking at individual particle like we did for the impulse when we just looked at A. We're looking at the total before and the total afterwards. So the total momentum before, remembering our positive, is mass times velocity. So it's 0.3 times 8 minus, because it's acting in the opposite direction, uh, for m. It's got to equal the total momentum afterwards, which is mass times velocity acting to the left plus 2m. So if we sort all this out, we got 2.4 plus 0.6 is equal to 2m plus 4m or quite obviously 3 is equal to 6m so the mass is equal to 0.5k 
kilograms, and it's important that we put our units in both questions.